global challenge facing all of us is finding ways to look after the environment for future generations. Motorsport is at a crossroads and while most categories are embracing this change, more needs to be done to reduce carbon emissions. The FIA, Formula One's governing body, announced late last year that the current engine specification was likely to be fixed for the next decade. With other measures already in place to restrict engine development, budgets can now be channeled into green technology like kinetic energy recovery systems and heat recovery devices. The technology isn't new to Formula One, but this greater emphasis will have a positive flow on for the manufacturers. Formula One, we have a very high level, and that is very useful and relevant for road car development. Uh, the actual parts themselves don't cross over, you know, carbon fibre or physicals. But, but carbon fibre or composites will be introduced more and more in road cars, and, and therefore, you know, there is know-how and know-how change uh, that does go on, but it's more at a design and conceptual level level and system level. It's an exciting new frontier and engineers are eager to tap into the huge potential of this hybrid revolution. The latest generation Prius, for example, uses what's known as a series parallel system, deriving its power from two sources. A traditional fuel-driven engine alongside a self-charging electric battery, with the car able to use either source or a combination of both, depending on the conditions. The battery charging through energy created by the brake package. A hybrid system designed specially for the rigours of Formula One could really accelerate development of this technology in the road car market. The high speeds and rapid deceleration provides a unique opportunity. Instead of capturing the braking force as electricity, the new kinetic energy recovery system revolves around a mechanical flywheel concept which captures, stores and discharges a moving vehicle's kinetic energy. This setup potentially capable of delivering an extra 60 brake horsepower. And in the competitive world of Formula One, where gains are normally measured in hundreds or thousands of a second, it's a fantastic prospect. There's such a big rule change, especially you have to start very early looking into different uh, concepts, that's for sure, so we're already looking at that, yes. Even the hybrid Supra HVR that won a recent 24-hour race in Japan can recover approximately 70% of dissipated energy. The Supra used a four-wheel brake force regeneration system, which could form the basis of Toyota's open-wheel hybrid unit. The proposed Formula One regulations will restrict the capture of dissipated energy to around 20% because it focuses solely on the rear wheels. No doubt the tug of war will continue between the teams and rule makers on this one. Irrespective of the result, it's time for change. And in keeping with this sports charter, Formula One should be at the leading edge as motor racing endeavours to go green.